Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're going to be doing a more editorial, kind of less wearable look today, but I had so much fun doing it. It's Women's Day, and I thought I would embrace that creativity and the challenge for that. So, um, I went balls to the walls in terms of pink, and I actually really like it. I really like it. So, if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. Um, I'm filming outside today just because I cannot find any good lighting. This is still not ideal, but we're going to go for it. Just so you know, I've primed my eyes and I've done my eyebrows already just to save some time. Okay, so I'm starting off using the Pink Trio in my Inglot palette. I'm going to start with the lightest pink shade. And I'm just going to completely blow this out in the crease. Yeah? Uh, okay. Okay, cool. Hello? Hello? Okay, then I'm tapping into the darker shades and I'm deepening it up, still taking it really far out. I'm just swapping over to my Dupe Factory palette and I'm going to be hitting into this really bright warm pink. Okay, and then the deepest shade I'm going to use is this kind of mauvey purpley pink from the Inglot palette. I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit more with that. Okay, so next up I'm going to take the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Duo. It looks like this, and I'm going to use this... Um, kind of pink salmony shimmery side which is a cream and I'm going to put that down as a cut crease and then I'm going to go in with two glitters today and they're both from LA Girl one is called Party Girl and the other one is called Clubbin and I'm kind of going to do an ombre effect from the lightest to the darkest on the outer side Okay, so I've just done the cup crease with the shimmery salmon color. Focus. So this shade dries really quickly, so there's like no point in trying to put the glitter on, which I've already attempted to do. It didn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side of the duo, which is more of a glitter glue, glitter base. And I'm just going to pop that over this color, and then I'm going to put the glitter on over that. Okay, so this is how one complete eye is looking at the moment. I'm just going to do the other eye quickly and then I'll pop back on camera. Okay, so what I've done is I've made my base much lighter than I usually would. It's a lot fairer than my skin tone. Um, I'll link those products down below. I'm going to quickly get started on the lower lash line. And we're going to take this pretty far down. I'm going to start with that lightest pink in the Inglot palette again. And then I'm going to take the detail brush that I use for the glitter, if I can get all the glitter off of it. I'm going to the dark Inglot shade and just run that closer to the lash line underneath. Just dragging out the eyeshadow because I want that to meet up with the blush at some stage. I feel like this needs to be high up. Jeez, I have such a precarious tripod situation happening at the moment. But yeah, so I really like what's happening at the moment. What I'm quickly going to do is, because I don't want any warmth in the look, I'm just going to take this Catrice Contouring Cream Palette, um, and I'm going to take the contour shade, which is really cool tone, because I don't want any bronzes or bronziness. I'm just going to run my Beauty Blender in that, and I'm just going to run that under the jawline, so I can create some kind of depth in the face, but without it being warm toned. So now, 
blush time and this is the part I'm really excited about. I'm gonna go into the Catrice Multi Matte Blush in the shade 20 La Lavender. It's like a really cool tone rose blush. And I'm just gonna start building that up kind of high on the cheekbones and I'm gonna take it around to the forehead. I'm almost using blush as a contour in this situation. I'm also going to take that across the nose quite heavily. I'm going to jump back into this trio from the Inglot palette and I'm going to take a little coating of that and I'm going to start to pinken it up even more around the eye. Underneath the tip of the nose, just up the sides. And then last one, I'm going to tap into that darker shade of the Ingla palette and just be that the last connector between the blush and the eyeshadow. Okay, next up I'm going to take my highlighter from Wet n Wild in the shade Precious Petal. I'm just going to highlight overboard. I still have some pink on my brush, so it'll give a pink sheen to it, just on the parts that I would usually highlight, I guess. And I'm going to take a whole bunch of that on the inner corner. I love this so far. I'm having the time of my life. Okay, so next up I'm going to start on the lips. I'm going to take the Mark by Avon. Ready to go. Well, that's the shade. I'm not sure what the actual lipstick is called. I'm just going to take that across the lips quickly, pretty roughly. It's like a pink tone red. I'm going to buff that out with my finger. I'm kind of going off the lines because I really like that, like, messed up, like, you just kissed someone, look. I think we're done. I don't want to put on any mascara. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I really, really enjoyed doing this. I had so much fun. Um, I'm going to try and do more editorial looks. I mean, I know this is not wearable, but we all know that there are a lot of wearable makeup tutorials out of there. And I really have fun watching other people do editorial looks. So if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and please will you hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video for Around the Clock August. Bye. She might be hanging over the couch the whole time. Hello, Dad. I feel like 90% of the glitter went onto my face and not onto my eye. <laughs>